Murray Newlands. Welcome to another episode of Performance Marketing Insider TV. I'm here with David from NetDNA. You are a CDN company. What does that mean? What does it do for us? So what a CDN does for you, it takes the heavy objects of your sites and places a copy of these, like images, CSS, and JavaScript, places a copy of these files uh, on our data centers around the world. And um, let's say your website is hosted in Los Angeles, and the user from New York is looking at your site. Without a CDN, the physical distance will take several seconds to load the images on your site. And when you use a CDN, this visitor from New York would get the images from our data center in New York. And what are the benefits of using a CDN? So another benefit besides the um, decreased load time is that the CDN will load balance your site. Let's say your site becomes popular overnight, um, then our CDN will help you to load balance all this traffic and your server will less likely crash. And um, other benefits of a fast loading site are, um, there's numerous benefits. I used to have an um, e-commerce, several e-commerce stores before I joined NetDNA, and I wish I would have known about these benefits before. Mozilla did an interesting case study. Um, they optimized the page where you download the, the browser, and they did the um, standard conversion optimization tricks, and they were able to increase it by 2%, and then they shaved two seconds of the page load time and they're, um, they increase it by 15.4%, and that's pretty dramatic in their case. It's millions yeah. and millions of more downloads every year. Amazon has another interesting case study. They say every 100 milliseconds they add in low time, they lose 1% in revenue, which is huge as well. And um, Google will rank you high when your site's going faster. In 09, they announced that it's part of their search, uh, the SEO algorithm. So make sure your site's going fast. Thank you, some great tips there. What other tips would you have for people who want to increase their site loading speed? So there's a bunch of best, best practices. For example, make fewer HTTP requests, which means like, do CSS sprites, um, and yeah, just make sure you do less, less external calls as well. Use CDN, of course. <laughs> um, GZIP components, put CSS on top of your page, move scripts to the bottom, um, Minify JavaScript and avoid redirects and so on. There's a bunch of things you can do. And if I want to, I mean, that sounds like it could be quite complicated. If I want someone to just take care of this for me, how can I do that? So there's a few options. One thing for WordPress, there's a bunch of plugins that make your life easier. For example, W3 Total Cache yep. Uh, yep. takes care of a lot of things. And I use that one. Easy to install and, and to configure. And you could also go to a hosting company that specializes in page load time. Um, let's stick with WordPress. We're using WordPress ourselves, and we just switched to WP Engine. Okay. And um, they're doing a really great job in making a page load a lot faster than they did before. And to uh, do full disclosure here, they're also using our CDN. So if you use the service, you'll be on our CDN. <laughs> what other tips would you have for, for publishers and merchants um, in trying to optimize their sites? One cool tool is webpagetest.org. You can go there and find out how fast your site is loading from different locations around the world. Okay, great. And it will also tell you what's quote unquote wrong with your site and where you have room to optimize. And, and if people want to re contact you, how can they reach out to you? They can shoot me an email at david at netdna.com in case you have any questions about um, page speed optimization. I'm always happy to help. Excellent. David, thank you very much. Have a great afternoon. And thank you very much for watching. I'm Murray Newlands. You've been watching Performance Marketing Insider TV. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye. Bye.